Hey babes, it's Jenny Procopi from chronicbabe.com and you're here with me today for another AWAP Wednesday. AWAP stands for as well as possible and in all things that's what I hope for you, that you are as well as possible throughout the day, every day, no matter how sick you are, that you kick ass and take names and I know you can. Today's AWAP Wednesday question comes from a fellow chronic babe who writes, Dear Jenny, I have serious burnout. I know some of it is winter, but some of it is major symptom flare too. I feel you, sister. I'm totally feeling burnt out from healthy living and eating choices. My doctors put me on a pretty strict paleo diet and that's okay, but then she tried to put me on a low histamine diet and there's just no way that I can adhere to that. I mean, no chocolate, no leftovers, no bacon? Are you insane? Seriously. <laughs> And so I feel like I've had it up to my eyeballs with all that I'm supposed to be doing or not doing in order to keep myself healthy. I'm feeling discouraged and tired and rebellious and having a hard time getting myself back on track. And no, record snowfall in Boston this year has not helped. What do you do when you hit burnout? That is such a great question, babe. I gotta tell you, I'm currently in a little state of burnout myself. I've been, uh, burning the candle at both ends, so to speak, and I'm a little wiped. So I totally know where you're coming from. All I wanna do is eat Cheetos and lie on the couch all day, so I totally feel you. I mean, there are times where you just don't wanna do it anymore. You get sick of trying to be the best that you can be all the time. As chronic babes, we have to work all the time to take the best care of ourselves that we can. You know, I'm constantly surprised when a friend realizes that I have a two hour morning schedule that I don't um, stray from. You know, they sometimes are like, what are you talking about? I get up, I meditate, I do some yoga to warm up my body for the day, I cook a high protein, gluten free breakfast. My med schedule is really precise and spaced out over the course of more than an hour. So. You know, I don't just roll out of bed and grab a bagel and coffee and run to work in the morning. <laughs> Sometimes I resent the hell out of people who can do that. I'd love to be able to just roll out of bed and grab a cup of coffee and a bagel and run to work. That would be awesome. I miss those days. You know, there are days that I just want to be like, of this and, and do that and blow off my routine, but I know I'll pay for it if I do that. So what do I do? I kind of have an ongoing conversation with my healthcare providers about little cheats. Like what little things can I get away with when I'm feeling like I need a little rebellion? What little things can I do that won't take me way off the path but will help me feel like I'm not so boxed in? I also look for new ways to make like my old routines fun again. Like I don't hesitate to buy the new Just Dance video game when they come out because I love to have some new grooves to shake my tushy to. That really helps me stick with my cardio. I mentioned eating gluten free. I'm always looking for new blogs and recipes and cookbooks because I love to mix up the diet and mix up the food that I'm making. It keeps things fresh. So even though it's restricted, I don't feel like I'm doing the same thing every single day. I don't get bored. Sometimes I just let myself rebel a little bit. You know, I don't get drunk. I don't go off my meds. I don't eat a whole plate of donuts. <laughs> but sometimes when I'm burnt out, I just let myself live a little bit. Maybe have an extra glass of wine or eat a very gluteny cookie every once in a while. You know, these are things I can do without jeopardizing my health in a big way. They're like little cheats that I can get away with and feel like I am not super limited all the time. But only you can figure out what those little cheats are for you, what those little moments of rebellion are gonna be. And I definitely do recommend that you talk with your healthcare providers and other people in your life who love you and to make sure that you're, you know, you're not getting too crazy. <laughs> I hope that's helpful. I know this is an issue that a lot of us deal with. I definitely deal with it on an ongoing basis. I mean, 17 years of chronic babe life, 
I have a lot of moments of burnout. <laughs> I would love to hear how you cope with burnout, what you do. So if you're not already over at chronicbabe.com, hop on over to the site, to this blog post and jump in the comments. We always have a really robust conversation and I love to hear your ideas and the community conversation is really rocking. And also sign up for our free Chronic Babe newsletter. Don't miss a thing. I'm always announcing new stuff. There are new videos like this, blog posts, media appearances, and I'm running my Kickstarter right now for my new book. There's only nine days left as of today, St. Patrick's Day, we're in green, March 17th. <laughs> so don't miss out. Jump on the newsletter, subscribe today. I would really love to stay in touch. Okay, that's it for this week, babes. I hope you go out and make it a totally awesome day. Be a web. Mwah.